Hello and welcome, or welcome back to Megan TT Hobbies. Thought I would do a little bit of a forward facing video, but I gotta look up the camera up here. Um, so I just recently returned from a awesome trip to Florida, and we got to go to Universal Studios, most of Walt Disney World, Disney Springs, and I was there for a conference, which was the the main reason I attended the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. I actually got to go to the first one. So I thought I would do a small haul video, uh, mainly from Disney World. I think I have maybe one or two things from Harry Potter. I have a big old bag of stuff right here. So just, you know, to show you what's in the parks right now, um, I do have a bunch of pins, which I will probably put in a separate video showing the pins off and then a separate video to open the boxes so those videos don't get too long so let's get started the first thing i will grab right here is the green alien popcorn bucket so he was 25 dollars. i happened to be at hollywood studios the day he became available, he actually survived uh, the a hotel change and then in my carry-on coming back. So he's traveled a lot. Comes with a cute little lantern that's all Christmas themed. But again, he's $25. Um, you can not only just not get the popcorn, but you can ask for the popcorn to be in a separate container so you actually get some of the popcorn, he was more expensive than the Pluto one that you can find at many of the Disney parks. I think Pluto's like 15 or 16, um, but it was worth it. It's crazy how popular he is on um, eBay. He's going for like $50. So that'll be a fun Christmas decoration. Uh, keeping on the theme of Christmas, I wanted to get a Christmas shirt since I did go to the Christmas party. It says Dashing Down Main Street USA, Walt Disney World. And it has all the characters on it. It's just super cute. It has some of the Disney theming down here. Uh, retail, it was $24.99 before taxes. But I really liked this shirt. I didn't particularly like um the like the christmas party shirt but uh i really liked that one i had to look for it in two different places in order to find my size because it was definitely popular but you can find it at like the emporium some of the epcot uh festival and um i think maybe in mouse gears and then um I think I ended up getting that at the World of Disney in Disney Springs. Um, so a, another shirt I decided to get is this long sleeve figment shirt. And it's way bigger than I would have normally purchased. But uh, the other one looks kind of small. And it says Imagination on the sleeve. It was $34.99 before taxes, and then I actually decided to get an annual pass, so I got that discount. I have a few of the t-shirts, but I don't have this long sleeve shirt. Seeing that in the Midwest we got a ton of snow last night, it was worth getting a long sleeve shirt. Uh, on the topic of Harry Potter, I broke down and purchased... I guess I should not have it in front of me while I talk. This uh, Gryffindor sweatshirt, again, it's another one of those that I bought the next size up. It's got a really cool, let's see if I can show this, Gryffindor patch. Um, you really don't want to know how much this was, but it was $62.95. Um, that was one of very few purchases at Universal Studios since it was so expensive. Uh, what else do I have to show you? So, if you know me, you know I adore Figment. This is a nice, like, 20-inch one. I actually have, like, a huge one from when I was a little kid. 
but uh, he was 24, 95. Um, he is at Epcot. He's at his um, ride, and then I think I also saw them at Mouse Gears. So if it's Figment, I want it. Uh, this is for my Star Wars loving side. So it's R4H18. It is retail at $12.99, but it's the special holiday one. I have the droid from, I think, Halloween last year, so that was cool to get a Halloween one. Um, I just thought this guy was absolutely adorable. The Sorcerer's or Apprentice Mickey is by far my favorite. And um, these are super popular with these clips in, I think, like Japan. Um, maybe even in the, so for the Tokyo, maybe even Shanghai. So he was, he was cute. He was a red, like, eight or nine bucks. They had uh, a few of those different kinds, Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, where there was like a big head to it, but this was definitely the cutest one to me. Hopefully we will get more, or I might have to order some from across the pond. Uh, also, another little push. I originally passed up on this guy, but I couldn't. Apparently he's a magnet. Somehow, maybe, it says magnet, teal, so like nine or ten bucks. I can't quite find the magnet part of him yet, but just a super cute figment. I thought about uh, adding one of these keychain thingies to him, but uh, we'll see. He's going to hang out on my desk upstairs with me. Um, let me show you just a couple other things. Uh, super cute socks. Generally run about 10, 12 bucks, maybe even more than that. Yeah. Um, so this is a pair that I actually got at the Disney store prior to going, but you can find these also at Walt Disney World right now because they make great stocking stuffers or small little gifts. Nice uh, Mickey socks in there. You can either get ones that are Christmas or non-Christmas, um, but they did have those at one of the Disney stores. Um, I think I saw maybe at World of Disney and Disney Springs and um, just different types of socks. So this one is one of the last few that I'll show before I get into the pins. And it is in the infamous Disney wrapping. Because I told the lady that it has to get back in my luggage to the Midwest. So this was a total splurge, but I have not added a figment ornament to my tree in probably 20 years. So he is just absolutely adorable. He's all sparkly. He has gifts. Super duper duper cute. And he was $21.99. Um, I only purchased one ornament, but if you purchased three. I think they're about $20. So that is that one. Let me see if there's anything else in my box that I want to share with you. So I decided to do the pressed coins. So I picked up a little book. I have not put them in here yet, but it has all four parks. And I thought it was cool that they actually put the date each park um, was founded. And then you can put the pressed pennies in here. I have a bag of them. So once I decide which ones I'm going to keep, um, they will go in there. I thought I was almost done, but then I found a couple of things. Some artwork that I wanted to get. For Figment, this one has been around since, um, like, the Festival of Art, and I've been meaning to have somebody pick it up, so I picked up both of these. They were $4.99 um, at the Art of Disney in, I think it was Epcot. Uh, anything else? 
So this is all pins, 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 pins. So I'm not seeing anything else to share for you today. I would say that this guy is my favorite. You can never have enough figments. This is my this is my childhood memories when it comes to Disney and Epcot right here. So I had to uh, get him. He is super duper soft. It would be cool to throw like the old school figment t-shirt on him. So please like, comment, subscribe. I'm getting so close to 100 subscribers. So please share with your friends this Walt Disney World haul and a little bit of Universal. I will leave you with that. My phone is ringing, so I got to deal with that. And yeah, I will do a pin video, a haul pin video, a opening pin video, um, a small little video on some autographs that I did at Walt Disney World. Have a fabulous day. Stay warm.